So the other day I came to a stunning realization. I'm limiting my profit potential. I'm limiting my drop shipping store. I'm limiting my amount of growth. There's literally one thing that I'm not doing that is putting a cap on the amount of money that I can make. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's one thing that pretty much every single big corporation, big brand, big company does. It helps open up your brand to a wider market and really gives you the potential for possibly unlimited profits. It can help you grow your brand or company beyond your wildest dreams. Have you been able to guess what it is? It's drop shipping internationally. You want to go international with your company so that way you can reach a wider audience. You can reach people that you never thought you'd be able to. And let me tell you that drop shipping internationally is actually a lot easier than you think it is. So when you finally decide to take that step and start offering your products to a wider market, the first thing that you need to do is you need to decide on where you want to drop ship to. So let's say you're starting off in the US. Now you need to figure out what other country you want to start drop shipping to. And before you decide, I'm going to start drop shipping to every single country that I can stop, take a step back, take a breather and take it step by step. Start with one country at a time. Start with one of the larger markets and then start working into the smaller ones. So in this video, we're gonna be covering how you can start drop shipping in the UK. Now, the reason that we're starting with the UK is because aside from the US, the United Kingdom actually has one of the largest markets out there when it comes to drop shipping. Now, whether you're an experienced drop shipper or you're just getting started in the game, make sure you check out this video all the way through because more than likely there is gonna be some piece of information that you're gonna be able to take away with you. Now, the first thing that you need to do when you're getting started drop shipping in a different country such as the UK is you need to figure out what platform you want to sell on. Do you want to sell on your own website or do you want to sell on a marketplace? I don't know, man. What's the difference? Well, on your own website, you're going to be able to create just that. You're going to be able to make your own website. You're going to be able to style it the way you want. You're going to be able to add any products that you want. And really, there's not going to be a lot of rules that you have to follow. And one of the best parts is the fact that you can customize the entire website. But one of the downsides is going to be the fact that people aren't going to know that your website is there. So you're going to have to figure out different ways to market and get your website's name out there. Now, a marketplace is fairly similar, except the fact that you can't customize anything and you're going to be selling on somebody else's platform. So in this case, you can choose something like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, or Facebook Marketplace, and you can start selling on there. What about the rules? Now, when selling on one of these marketplaces, you are going to have to go by their rules. So each one of them is going to have specific rules that you have to follow that have to do with the things you can sell, the different types of fees, and how advertisement works. But one really big upside to selling on a marketplace is the fact that you are going to have organic traffic. So people that go to eBay, people that go to Amazon, people that go to Facebook Marketplace are ready to make a purchase. Those people are going on those websites with the intent of spending money. You just have to have the right products that they're looking for. Shut up and take my money. Now, when you are choosing the marketplace that you're selling on, there are a few other things that you need to keep in mind. One of them being that certain products are going to work better on certain websites. Now, if you decide to start selling something like handmade style items or vintage and retro goods, while you can sell those on pretty much any platform or any website, jumping on a website like Etsy could be extremely beneficial because those are a few of the niches that are actually best sellers on that particular marketplace. Now, before we continue, there is one thing that you need to always keep in mind that is imperative when you're drop shipping in any other country, and that is taxes. Now, when it comes to taxes, that really varies from country to country, but just a few of the different types of taxes that you need to keep in mind are going to be income tax, sales taxes, duties tax, and sourcing taxes. Now, taxes are a completely different topic that require a video on their own. But if you do want to learn more about them, then make sure you check out our cheat sheet. So with this video, I am going to be including an easy to reference cheat sheet. That's going to have everything that I'm talking about, including all of the different links and an article that's going to be specific for taxes. So that way you can check that out and learn about taxes whenever you have a little bit of extra time. Now, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag UK dropshipping, and let me know what your takeaway is from this video or what you learned. Okay, so now the next thing that you need to do is you need to find a supplier that actually ships to the UK. Keep in mind that not every single supplier that you're using when you're dropshipping, let's say in the US, is going to be available to dropship their items in the UK. So because of that, you need to find some specific ones. Now, here are a few different suppliers that you can check out for your business. So first up, we have AliExpress UK. Pretty sure that we all know about AliExpress. It is one of the biggest supplier names in the dropshipping business, and they have a massive amount of different items. Now, one of the downsides to AliExpress is always going to be their shipping times, but they do have quite a good amount of products that ship fairly quick. Typically within one to two weeks, your customers should be receiving them. Just make sure when you're checking out the different products on here or the different sellers, make sure that they offer fairly quick shipping. Try not to go over two weeks. A month is already pushing it. Now, AliExpress is great and they're an awesome company to start with. But if you really want to get serious with your drop shipping, then you can check out some of these other suppliers as well. Now, the second supplier is going to be the AutoDS private suppliers and warehouse. So AutoDS has their own warehouse and 
they also have some heavily vetted suppliers. Now these suppliers have gone through some pretty rigorous testing just to make sure that they have quality items and quick shipping. So for this, you are gonna need an account with AutoDS. And if you don't have one, you can sign up right now for the trial period for just $1. But just quickly looking over it, here we are on the marketplace and we can actually choose the different suppliers that we wanna filter through. So we have AutoDS, AliExpress, and Amazon. My favorite one from here is always gonna be AutoDS because that's gonna have some of the faster shipping along with some of the best prices and a couple of extra features that I find are really cool. So let's go ahead and switch it over to AutoDS suppliers and let's just start scrolling, shall we? So here you can see that this item ships between 11 to 14 business days. And just to be clear, the different shipping times on here are gonna be for your customer to receive the item, not for the supplier to ship out the item. So this one has an 11 to 14 business day shipping time. Now, if you keep scrolling, you're gonna see a few more. This one has eight to 11 days. This one has two to four business days. That's pretty quick. That can potentially rival Amazon. Now, one of the other features that I actually find are really cool is this right here. So you can see that some of these options are gonna say customizable branding. What that means is that this item, when it ships, it's gonna ship with a custom thank you card. Now that thank you card will be pre-written, but you're able to brand it with your logo, which is an awesome personal touch that can really resonate with your customers. Aside from that, we also have the winning product section, which is full of best selling products. All of the different items on here have a proven track record and are currently trending. So these items are backed by data and social proof. These all have a proven track record of selling. Now on top of that, you also get a couple of extra benefits on here as well. So let's check out this little brush right here. And when the page loads up, you're gonna get the information on the item itself. But if you scroll down, you're gonna get some pretty cool details. For one, you get a profit analysis that tells you more or less how much you can make. You get a Facebook ad that's currently running with this same product. So that way you can structure your Facebook ad if you choose to run ads in a similar fashion. On top of that, we also have the target audience for that Facebook ad. So you can target a similar audience. And we also show you the website that's selling this item just in case you're selling it on your own website. So you can more or less learn how to structure. Other than that, you can also check out Banggood UK. Now, one of my favorite things about Banggood is that they sell their own items. So all of the items that you see on Banggood are going to be sold and shipped by Banggood themselves. They don't have third party suppliers. They don't have third party sellers. Everything comes from the Banggood warehouse. And that really helps ensure quality items as well. So on Banggood, you can find some pretty well-priced items that are pretty high quality as well. Similar to Banggood, we also have another Chinese supplier, DHK UK. And on here, you can find a pretty large number of items with international shipping. And last, but certainly not least, if you decide to niche down, so let's say you decide to sell home goods, then you can always check out Costway. Costway UK has some awesome items, all really well well priced and they ship with blank packaging. So that way people aren't gonna know who your supplier is. They're not gonna know where you're sourcing your items from. Oh, well, that's great news, isn't it? Okay, so now that we know where we're gonna source our products from, now we actually have to choose the products that we're gonna sell or the product. When you start your dropshipping store, remember that you have a few different options. You can either have a store that sells a bunch of generic items, so you can have a generic store. You can have a store that's niched down to a particular category of items. So you can have a fitness store, a camping store, an outdoor store, or you can have a one product store that focuses on just one product. Now, how do you find best selling products? Well, that's pretty easy. For one, as I showed you earlier, you have the winning product section over at autodias.com. Now, if you're sourcing your products from AliExpress, then you can check out their best sellers. You can check out what's trending on AliExpress. Or if you click into one of the products, then you're also gonna have this right here that shows top selling, which tells you all of the top selling items for this particular store. Now, it's not enough to be able to just go on AliExpress or AutoDS and find a best selling product. You need to make sure that it has social proof. You need to make sure that people are actually using it. And in order to do that, you can just go on TikTok and look up hashtag TikTok made me buy it. So what you can do here is you can just go on TikTok TikTok, search up the different products, and then you can find, let's say this little printer right here. It's a thermal printer. You can tell that this is trending and that people actually like it or want it because for one, it has 277 million views. Wow, that's a lot. Imagine if only 1% of those people actually went on the website and made a purchase. That's a pretty big profit. Holy cow. Aside from that, you can also check out the comments and see what people are saying about it. And now it's time to look for this particular product. So we can go on AliExpress and we can just look up mini thermal printer. And more than likely, you're gonna find either the same item or a similar item to it. But if that doesn't work and you're finding a product that's unique and not a lot of people are selling it, then this is all you have to do in order to find this person's supplier. So just go ahead and click on their store. Go ahead and click the link in their bio. And now we're at their website. So here, all you have to do is just go ahead and right click and search images with Google. If it doesn't detect 
select the image automatically, then it's going to tell you to select the image. So here, all I'm going to do is just go ahead and cover the printer itself. And then Google is going to do an image search looking for similar images. Then you're going to have this little pop up on the side. And there we have a bunch of different listings with this same printer. So here you just look for the best priced one. Typically, you're going to look for one that's being sold by either Alibaba, AliExpress, DHK. So let's just check out here. It's being sold for $49.99 and you can even source it from Amazon for $29.99 or you can keep scrolling and you can find it from AliExpress for simply $20. Don't sleep on searching images with Google because this is an extremely valuable tool that's completely free. Now, when you are searching for these different items, a few things to keep in mind when making your selections are going to be to make sure that they have a wow factor. So make sure that whenever somebody looks at it, they think, holy cow, I need this right now. Because remember, we're looking for impulse buyers and impulse buyers are triggered by wow factors. And another major thing that you need to make sure that your products have is value. You need to make sure that your products add value to somebody's life, whether it be in their day to day to make things easier or to just make things a bit more fun and entertaining. Now, I'm going to give you one more tool that can really make product research a whole lot easier. Google Trends can tell you whether or not an item is going to be trending based on prior data. So when it comes to Google Trends, I typically don't use it for specific items. So I wouldn't use it to look specifically for a mini thermal printer because there's not going to be a lot of people searching for that particular search term. Now, if a product is really trending, then you could potentially do that. But I typically tend to use it to research niches. So here we are on the Google Trends website, which is trends.google.com. But again, if you want this link, just go ahead and check out the cheat sheet. It's all going to be in there. If you're enjoying this video so far and you're finding value in all of the information that I'm giving you, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search up a particular niche. So I'm going to look up school supplies. Now, by default for me, the country is going to be the United States. So since I'm not dropshipping in the United States in this case, I'm going to switch it over to the UK. Aside from that, the time frame is going to be for the past day. We don't want the past day. What we want is either the past year or the past five years. I personally like to go back five years. So let's go back five years and I just leave all categories in web search. That's fine. Now here we can see a few spikes and then a few dips. So if you want to drop ship school supplies right at the beginning of these spikes is when you want to start offering your products and to help get ready for that, you actually want to start stocking up your store maybe one or two months prior to that. So as you can see right here, the peaks are actually right at the end of August. This was for 2019. Then it suddenly dips because school started and everyone already got their supplies, but then it starts to rise up again a little bit around the end of March. But then there's another dip. So here it just stays about steady, then continues to grow until about the end of August. Once again, then school starts and it keeps going back down. As you can see for the next few years, it's pretty much the exact same thing, 2022. And right now in 2023, we are actually on the rise. That's one way that you can find niches and can anticipate whether or not they're going to be trending. So those are two tools that I gave you that are extremely valuable that you really should take advantage of because they're totally free. Searching images with Google and Google Trends. Now, after that, the next thing you need to do is, of course, fill up your store with the actual items of your choosing. So you need to start importing your products. And in order to do this, what you need to do is go on over to, let's say, AliExpress and just go ahead and save this image. Then you're going to have to do the same thing for all of these other ones. Then when you go to create your listing, just go ahead and copy over and optimize or change whatever you need from the title. Then go on over to to the description, go ahead and copy all of this, copy it, paste it, and it's starting to get a bit time consuming, isn't it? And that's just one item. Um pretty tired. So when you're doing one or two different items, it's okay. It'll take you a few minutes, but the process can get annoying. But when you really want to start getting serious and you want to start adding tons of different items, maybe you want to add 20 or 30 different products, then doing it this way is really going to take you a long time. So in this case, this is when you want to start implementing automation. Now for this, you can use AutoDS and you have a few different ways to import your different items. So for one, if you're finding an item in the marketplace or the winning product section, all you have to do is click on import draft. Then it'll be imported to your draft section where you can make any necessary edits. And really it's super quick. It just takes one click and a couple of seconds to have this item ready in your store to sell because it's going to automatically import everything. It's going to import the variations, the titles, the descriptions, the images, everything. All you have to do is optimize the titles and the descriptions and delete any images or any variations that aren't relevant. Now, the other way to do it, if you're using a different supplier, such as AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, Wayfair, whatever it may be, is just simply click on add product. Now, when you click on add product, you can either go through single product or multiple products. I like to do multiple products. So I just click on this and I start pasting in the different URLs of all of the different pages for the products that I'm going to be importing. Then from here, all I have to do is click on add as draft and it's going to be added to my draft section where I can get to them whenever I'm ready to make any edits. Now, one of the most daunting things when it comes to actually getting your name out there and people finding your products is marketing. And it's a lot harder when you have your own website, but there are a few different ways that you can get this done. Some are paid, some are free, somewhat paid and free. It really depends on how you look at it. But to start 
start, you have organic marketing. Organic marketing is going to consist of things like making your own content. So you make your own TikToks, you make your own Instagram posts, and you pretty much advertise your own products for free. The other option that you have is paid marketing, which can be Facebook ads, where you're going to be running different ads on Facebook for your products. Or you can also do influencer marketing, which that's kind of the hybrid that I mentioned, because what you have to do in this case is send them the product. While you are paying for the product itself, you might not be paying as much for that product than you would, let's say, for a Facebook ad. Now, with influencer marketing, there's a few different ways that you can tackle that. One of them being simply striking a deal with an influencer, sending them your product and having them advertise it by making a post or a video. Sometimes you might have to pay them a little bit extra. Sometimes they'll just accept the product itself as payment. And sometimes they might ask for commission. It really all depends on your product and the influencer that you're working with, along with the amount of followers that they have. But if you want more information on marketing, then just check out the cheat sheet. There's going to be an entire free ebook on there that's going to guide you through Facebook ads. And there's going to be an article covering influencer marketing. Now, after you market your products and you start to get some sales, then you actually need to fulfill your orders. So in this case, what you want to do is you want to start placing the orders with your suppliers. And instead of putting your address, then you just put your customer's address. And when your supplier gives you the tracking number, then you just update the platform and your customer with it. But just like when you're importing your products, that can also start to take a lot of time. In this case, you can start implementing fulfilled by AutoDS. Now, what happens in this case is whenever you receive an order, AutoDS is going to take that order. It's going to use a balance that you top up on the system, and it's going to make the purchase using the AutoDS accounts. Now, once that purchase is made, then AutoDS is going to automatically update your customer and the platform with the tracking number. And from there, that's pretty much it. The entire order is fulfilled. Now, the very last thing that you need to pay attention to when you're doing your dropshipping business in the UK and Australia, in the US, wherever it may be, is post sales service. You need to make sure that you always have the best customer service. Whenever a customer reaches out to you regarding their order, if they have a problem with it, if they have a question about it, try to answer them at a maximum within 24 hours. Anything after that, typically people do not like. If they have a question about a product that they want to purchase and they wait more than a day, then more than likely what's going to end up happening is your customer is going to end up leaving and making the purchase somewhere else, or they're just going to completely forget about the product and you just lost the sale. So always make sure that when it comes to your customer service, that you give the best possible service that you can. Now, one way that you can facilitate this is simply by hiring a virtual assistant. Once your business starts to grow, you start to scale and you start getting more and more orders. Hiring a virtual assistant can be very beneficial because they're going to take care of all of the inquiries, all of the questions, all of the concerns, while the only thing that you're going to have to focus on is simply scaling and growing your business. Now, if you think that hiring a virtual assistant is too expensive, then think again. You can simply just go on Fiverr.com and you have tons of different options on there for different virtual assistants with different levels of experiences that are going to vary in prices. And that's how you can start expanding your business and start selling internationally, starting with dropshipping in the UK. If you found this video helpful, if you found it entertaining, if you found it informational, please don't hesitate. Make sure you smash that like button. And after you do that, while you're down there, just also hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Remember, if you want access to everything that I talked about in a written format, just go ahead and comment down below, hashtag UK dropshipping, and let me know what your takeaway was from this video. So that way you can get access to the cheat sheet. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. It truly means a lot. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS, wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping journeys and catch you all next time.